Hello again. It's, uh, it's been a while. Uh, yeah, kind of got bored of YouTube or something like that. I don't really know. Anyway, I bought a new car recently and there's a lot of stuff I want to do to it. And I figured, hey, why not film it and, you know, have documentation of it so I can look back at some point and be like, oh, I started here and now I'm here. Um, currently have a fucking pile of car parts waiting to, waiting to be installed. But first, let me show you the car. Right, so this is the car I've just bought. It is a 2016 Sirocco. Um, before I go into too much further detail, we need to go get some petrol and get it cleaned up. So let's go do that. So since I've got the car, there's one slash three small things that really annoy me. And they are the stickers that are currently on it. It's actually on the boot and it is this one. It's like a racing sticker. It pisses me off. The other two are on the door handles. As you can see here. So I've bought a heat gun and some plastic scraping tools. I'm going to see what happens and try and get it off, and hopefully it goes well. Uh, cut to that now. I have no idea what the framing's like and if I look like a twat, but I just want to start by saying I have never used a heat gun or removed a sticker from a car. Yeah, this could go horribly, horribly wrong, but at the same time, it could go really well, and I am hoping for the latter. Oh, they're all individual. Oh, uh, do you know what? I don't even know what I thought. I kind of thought they might be, but I was really hoping there'd be like a thing over the top. Well, welcome back to the time lapse. Is it off? I mean, it's not great. You can still kind of see if I flick in. No, you can't really see it on the camera. But there are still marks there from where the stickers were. Right, well, for now, I think that'll do. Right, so before I move the heat gun around here and try and heat it and take it off, I'm just going to see if I can take it off on its own. <laughs> Right, so, once again, this sticker is, off, get up here. This sticker's off, I mean, it's still there a little bit. Where it's been on for so long, it's kind of just built up some, I guess, gun core. Maybe it's just the glue, probably the glue. Um, but hopefully when I come and wash it, I can scrub it out. I'm not gonna make you watch me do the same side again, same side. I'm not gonna make you watch me do the other side again, because it would be the same thing. But uh, just assume that it all goes smoothly like this one did. Right, yeah, so this is it. This is the car. Uh, it is a 2016 Scirocco R with six speed manual. It's not completely stock. There are Miltec exhausts and the KM air filter fitted. So it's currently pushing about close to 290 brake. And believe me, it is rapid the 0 60 something like 4.4. Um, which, if I can figure out how to record it properly, you will see eventually. But yeah, it's in desperate need of a clean. And like I said, I have ordered some more parts. Super cool, I've had it three, maybe four weeks now, and I am loving it. I, I was going between this and the Golf R, and I was kind of like, you know what, everyone seems to have a Golf R, so let's switch up a bit, go for some different. And to be honest, I just love this car. But yeah, as I said at the start, I have some plans for this car. I've ordered a lot of parts. 
I'm gonna be installing them. Feel free to stick around. Right now, when I bought this car, it was like pristine. This middle dial is now kind of fogged up. That is because I had an air freshener and I put the air freshener here, thinking nothing of it. Took it off like two days later. This is now like shriveled up and this is all fogged. If anyone knows why that has happened, just please let me know because I was just confused, wasn't expecting that. Just to prove it is a manual. Yep, that looks like a manual to me. Something which I do really like about this car is the blue needles. Because I, I haven't seen them on many cars. I don't know if the Golf R has them or not. I can't remember. But the blue needles, I thought, were just sick. Mods, yes. So, just a quick rundown. These aren't set in stone. But I have ordered black badges for the car. So we can put them on. And hopefully add a bit different. Carbon fiber wing mirrors also ordered and have arrived. Springs to lower the car, which will be coming. They are here. Carista, and if you don't know what Carista is, it's a it's an OBD port extension. So basically, it'll let me recode some of the car's things, you know, like the dash, shit like that. I don't know. I thought it was kind of cool. I said, why not? It was like twenty quid, thirty quid maybe. Alloys are in desperate need of a change. The guy who had this before me, oh, so I might just say, bought this car with ten thousand miles on it, twenty sixteen pristine with the exception of the alloys don't know what the guy before me was doing but they are just look at this i mean they're not horrific but fuck it i might get some black ones spoilers got to be done because i mean it's cool little ducktail at the moment comes out a little bit but no i want some falcon wings because that's sick. The sticker is now gone. You can see a little bit of residue there. And that's the same on the doors. But I'm hoping it'll just come off in time, really. No. Go. Fuck the traction. We don't need that shit. Oh, the camera is jumping around like mad. <laughs> oh, this is so good. End of fifth at 100. Thank you guys for watching. If you do want to see what I'm doing to my car, feel free to subscribe and stick around. If not, no worries. Hit a like on your way out if you fancy. And um, maybe see you next time. Like I said, next install, badges and wing mirrors. And then we'll see what's up to that. Yeah, thanks. See you guys.